What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have a massive release reaction for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. So, welcome back to Release Reactions. I know it's been a while, and I'm going to explain that here. As unfortunately, Easy Toys has discontinued their newsletter, and as a result, I was waiting to see if that would resume, which I don't think it will, as I'll explain here in a moment. And we'll move over to a new system going forward for Release Reactions. So, without any further delay, I'll do a little bit more explaining and then we'll go ahead and get started uh, with the reunion here of release reactions so like i said easy toys i believe has discontinued their newsletter i have not gotten one in like at least two months maybe longer than that and to complement that when i tried to sign up for it with my own email and some backup emails that i have it unfortunately like didn't even process it on their website so i'm assuming that they've discontinued that which is really unfortunate because it was a really great newsletter and very helpful for like the first 75 normal release reactions that we've done excluding gym night jets and ng models so that was really awesome. But for now, I have found a new system that I think will do quite well, and I'm certainly excited to debut it. So here it is. We're going to be utilizing Jet Collector's uh, pre-order section here to take a look at our new releases. So as you'll see here, what we'll do is we'll look at the aircraft with the first aircraft will kind of start like this because we'll have the sidebar on some of them so we'll kind of go through and you'll see throughout today's video what that's going to look like and kind of get a better idea of that but as you'll see it'll end up working out pretty well so if anybody has a better alternative feel free to let me know but the uh they certainly the benefit of this is the big pictures that we get and you'll get to see the prices and all that when it's supposed to come in so on and so forth so huge thank you to jet collector for supplying all kinds of models and they really do a great job with the various offerings they provide so i thought this was our best solution as once again and I just wanted to make sure Easy Toys wasn't going to restart it. Uh, so that's why we had a little bit of an intermission. So I apologize about that. But nevertheless, thank you, Easy Toys, for doing a great job supplying those first 100 release reactions or so. It was so awesome. And today is 99. We'll be on 100 for the next one. So looking forward to it. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. We're going to start right here with the in-flight releases here. Again, this is probably two months older, so we're a little bit behind due to the delay from Easy Toys. So I apologize about that. But nevertheless, I'll do the, my best to get us caught up to speed as fast as possible. So starting here with some in-flights, we got this Family Airlines Boeing 747-100 registered November 93117. This is a really good looking aircraft. It looks really nice. So definitely excited to see that one coming out. And that should be really cool to say the least right there. We have some uh, NGs that we covered previously off to the right. So what I'll do from here is we'll scroll up and check out the next one. And that is going to be a Panda release. This is going to be a Air France Airbus E320 registered Foxtrot Gulf Foxtrot uh, Kilo Quebec. And it looks really good there. So it's the older livery, of course. And as you can tell, they did a good job on it. So certainly excited to see how that one comes out and it should be a good looker. So definitely looking forward to the Air France Airbus E320. And following that, we have some Avboss aircraft. We have this UT Air Boeing 767-200, which is registered Romeo Alpha 730. A1. This aircraft also looks really nice. I think they did a really good job on the mold there. So I'm not sure if they're like in partnership with, uh, e, e, I'm sorry, uh, Inflight 200 or what the case may be there. But anyway, it looks really good nevertheless and definitely excited to see that one. So that's looking really nice right there. And then we got another in-flight. This is the British Airways Boeing 777-200ER in the Festival of Creativity livery, which is Golf Yankee Mike Mike Lima. I like the livery on it. The rose looks really cool, so that one's certainly very nice. And we have another one that's going to be the Panda Face aircraft, and it's going to be Golf Yankee Mike Mike Hotel. So that aircraft also looks really good right there. And the reason that I'm starting from over there is, as you can see, I can only go this far when I'm zoomed in, and it can't go any past uh, two. So I try to keep it over here so that we only reveal one at a time, which is the most genuine reaction possible. Possible. Now we'll dive into some JC Wing releases. So starting here with this Unupon Boeing 727-200 registered uh, Juliet Alpha E328. So a pretty interesting livery right here. Cool to see that ANA had 727s way back when. And overall, that aircraft looks really good. So definitely cool to see that. We do have some complimentary pandas, which is the unfortunate part about this. Let me know if you all would like to see me go the other way. But going this way, you can see it kind of gets backwards because they line up uh, left or, or sorry. Uh, yeah, left over. So for instance, the... Air France A320 Panda was down there, and then they go up to the top right when they start again. So anyway, here's this Panda Models USMC C40A Clipper, and this is 170041. So this aircraft also looks really good, so definitely glad to see that one getting out right there. Then we have a house livery Boeing 737-700 registered November 737X. This aircraft looks really nice. I really like that house livery, the older one. So definitely cool to get to see that one debuting right there, and that should be a cool aircraft right there. 
And we also have a Fiji Airlines Boeing 737-700 registered Delta Quebec Foxtrot Julia Foxtrot. So that should be a pretty popular offering right there too. And overall, those look really good. So we are so far behind that. I think we're on like page uh, eight, maybe nine actually. So let's go ahead and jump back to page eight and let's see how this works. Okay, it does scroll. So I'll just like go past it really fast so that we don't see it. And then I will just come over here and zoom in and we'll get our next aircraft. So let's go ahead and get that. So it's gonna be a one to 200 JC wings. I zoomed in a little too far, so let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit here. Starting off here with the next round, we have a Flyby ERJ-195. I actually could load them all before I do the video next time. I might do that on the pages so that we don't have to go through any of this. So uh, again, this is what happens when you uh, get a new system going, kind of, it's, uh, it's a new process for sure. So getting it sorted out as we speak. I'm trying to get that task bar off. But anyway, here we go for the next round, the JC Wing. So here we have this Flyby ERJ-195 registered uh, Gulf Foxtrot bravo echo mic in the kids and teens special livery so that one looks really cool so definitely glad to see that and hopefully that'll be a popular offering for jc wings and we have this hong kong airlines airbus e320 registered bravo lima papa india so that one looks really good i think they did a good job with the mold there so definitely glad to see that we have a singapore airlines boeing 777 300 dr registered 9 victor zero whiskey zulu just got done watching jeb brooks's e350 video from jfk to singapore uh, it's just so frustrating because it's like dang it i don't want to waste 17 minutes right now when i could be filming this but i just wanted to start it really quick and i, I that was it i was hooked so uh it just happens to the best of us. But anyways, really, really, or not waste, by the way, not waste 17 minutes, but wanted to, you know, save it for like later when I got all my work done for today. But anyways, we know the drill with Jeb. He's a great guy. So there's Singapore to represent them right there. And then we have this Lutonza Boeing 737-300. And this is going to be the polished livery with Delta Alpha Bravo X-Ray Delta. So definitely a beautiful looking aircraft right there. And that one looks really good too. Okay, so next up, and this is how it'll work going for this, the normal kind of... Uh, sequence to it so here we have this continental airline crg that's 200 yard and this is a i'm gonna do my best with the pronunciation here uh, is it uh chowankawa airlines whole i think it's like chakawa airlines somewhere in there uh crg 200 and this november 667 bravo romeo which i think some of these may have went the delta in the long run i have a crj 200 won the 400 with that uh in the prefix so cool to see continental getting this year too it's uh i don't think ng's done it yet so this is a really great choice for them and that's a really good looking aircraft so really cool to see that right there we have a cult gulf air boeing 77-9 registered alpha 9 charlie foxtrot bravo so another really cool looking aircraft so that will be a very popular offering and certainly excited to see what they'll do with that aircraft right there here's a azent New Zealand uh, Ascent, well, I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but I think it's Ascent New Zealand Dash AQ100 registered Zulu uh, Kilo November Echo Zulu. Really nice looking livery. I really like the tail there. So pretty basic outside that. So certainly a nice release right there. And we have this Asiana Airlines Airbus A320, which is Hotel Lima 7772. So cool to see another IAE one here. Uh, it's certainly nice to get the variety between CFM and the IAE. So that's certainly a great release right there, I'd argue. Here's a KLM XL ATR 42300 registered Papa Hotel X-Ray Lima Delta. Nice looking aircraft right here. I like the gray and blue. So I think they made a good choice with what they're doing with this aircraft. And overall, that one looks really nice. So definitely really cool to get to see that aircraft. We have this China Airlines Boeing 747-460th anniversary livery with the flaps down registered Bravo 18210. Cool sticker on there, so that's certainly nice and definitely will be a popular offering in the region. And we have the flaps up, of course, right here. There's a little price to break down, by the way, so no more MSRP prices on that, so that's a difference too. And then we have this Malaysia Airlines Airbus E380 100th sticker registered 9 Mike Mike November Foxtrot. So certainly quite an interesting production line there with the E380 and Malaysia got to celebrate the 100th one. So certainly cool to get to see that right there. And then as you can see, here's the task bar once again. So that'll be a little bit in play for a couple of these, but again, it's not a huge deal, I wouldn't say so. And again, if anybody has any suggestions for how to fix up a format here, feel free to let me know. Here's a Transero Boeing 737-500 registered Bravo, or sorry, Victor, Papa Bravo Yankee Quebec. That's what I was looking for. So yet again, another good looking aircraft. I like their delivery, so that fits in quite well right there. Here is a Thai Airways Airbus E300-600R last flight registered Hotel Sierra Tango Alpha Zulu. So a very sentimental one right there. So that's really cool to see. Not sure how many Thai has, but certainly seems like a cool one. Here is a Condor Airbus E330-900 Neo with the beach delivery, I guess is what they're calling it, which is kind of funny. Delta Alpha November Romeo Hotel. I was thinking this more like a yellow, but I guess bleach would fit the build here. So 
it is a good looking aircraft though and should be a nice one so that's pretty cool and we also have this United Airlines Boeing 767-300ER registered November 666 Uniform Alpha. So very cool to see that one right there. And it looks very nice to say the least. Here is a U.S. Navy C-40A Clipper flaps down. This is going to be 165835. So very cool to finally get some more Clippers here in 1200. They are pretty tough to come by. And it's certainly awesome to get to see that one right there. So that's really cool. And we also have the normal one as well. So quite an awesome dream team right there for those two offerings. We have a Chinese Eastern Airbus E340-600, a really colorful aircraft in the Expo 2010 colors. This is for Shanghai Bravo 6065. So quite a cool aircraft. Again, very colorful. So really cool livery right there. If you're interested in getting some variety in your 1 to 200 fleet, that uh, might feel, fit the build for you. And here's a Cebu Pacific ATR-72500 freighter, which is Romeo Papa C-7252. Quite a unique registration there. Certainly a very good looking aircraft. So really cool to see them get this one out there. And I think it's quite cool. So definitely a unique offering there from JC Wings. These are pretty distinctive. And our last row before we head to our next page will be a uh, Boeing 737-400, still one 200, by the way, on the house color list, registered November 73700. So that's quite uh, clever right there. I like the polish on it. It looks good in that mold overall. looks really solid. So definitely a good job by JC Wings for exhibiting that on that aircraft. Here's an Air France ERJ-170LR registered Foxtrot Hotel Bravo X-Ray Kilo. So definitely a good looking regional here for Air France. Nice and simple. I like the underneath titles, kind of spice it up a little bit. So that's really nice. Here's an Air Canada L-1011-500 for Singapore registered Charlie Golf Alpha Juliet, Juliet, or sorry, Golf, Golf, excuse me. And it has an 85 on it. So I think it's with the sticker up there on the tail. So good looking aircraft and a very nice throwback for any retro Canadian collectors that are interested there. So very cool. And the last one before we head on to the next page will be this TNT Express Boeing 747-400 interactive aircraft, Oscar, Oscar Tango Hotel Alpha. So very good looking aircraft. Sure, we can on the nose right there or, you know, the front profile area. And then of course the interactive features. So quite a cool aircraft. If you missed my... 1 to 200 unboxing of my Polar 747 400 Interactive. I would recommend checking that out. Those are super cool. And go to the Airline Collectible Show and see if somehow you can get a good deal on one. That's what I would recommend. Although I have been seeing some very good deals on eBay recently, so I'd recommend getting your notifications on for searches so you can do that. And let me know if you all would like to see an updated eBay video. I'd absolutely love to do that. It's been too long since we've talked about that here on my channel, so let me know if you're interested, and we can definitely do that. Okay, it actually looks like I zoomed in just the right amount this time, so that's quite nice. So let's go ahead and get started with more JC Wings. Now we're in the 1 to 400 scale with this Cathay Dragon Airbus E330-300 registered Bravo Lima Bravo Foxtrot. A really good looking aircraft. It looks really nice on the livery right there, so I think they did quite a nice job. And overall, very glad to get to exhibit that, so really cool livery right there. Here's the EasyJet Europe Airbus E320 Berlin, and this is going to be Oscar Echo India Zulu Quebec. This is a good looking aircraft. I like the Berlin titles on it, so overall, a really nice offering right there. And certainly looking very good there for EasyJet. Would like to get a model of them sometime. This is a Fiji Dream Airlines ERJ-175 STD, and this is going to be in the gold livery, registered Juliet Alpha 09 Foxtrot Juliet. Another really good offering right there. I think it looks really nice, so nice to see limited wing flex too. That's certainly a pretty solid effort. I can't believe it's $48, but it's okay. Not a problem, just an observation, of course. Just was surprised. Qantas Freight Boeing 737-400 SF Star Trek registered Victor Hotel X-Ray November Hotel. Another really great looking aircraft. I really like the billboard titles right there with the various colors. And overall, it's really cool to see that partnership. So that's certainly very smart on the behalf of Qantas. And I certainly approve of the effort right there. So very cool to get to see that aircraft right there. Next, we're going to be taking a look at a Blue Air Boeing 737 Max 8. I've never heard of this airline. Registered Yankee Romeo Mike X-Ray Charlie. So cool to see this one as well. I really like the livery there on the tail. Certainly a nice way to spice up what normally is a typical pretty Euro white livery. So that aircraft certainly looks good. I'm definitely very glad to get to see that one right there. Overall, very cool. Little brain break as we proceed into our next offering, another ATR, but this time it's going to be Thai Airways on the ATR 72200, and this is registered Hotel Sierra Tango Romeo Alpha. So great looking airplane right there. Very cool to get to see. I think this looks like an antenna right here. If that is, it's super cool. So awesome to see more ATRs and hopefully more where that came from. They're really cool planes. Here's a on the pond cargo, or this is actually just a the pond cargo, excuse me, Boeing 747-8F Blue Nose. Very unique release here for Julia Alpha 1111 Kilo Zulu. 
I like the blue nose. I think it's kind of a nice little touch right there. So certainly cool to get to see that and not what I was expecting, but hey, that's really cool. We also have a Korean Air Boeing 747-8i and this is gonna be registered Hotel Lima 7631. Very cool to get to see this right here. I've had very good memories seeing these aircraft in real life. So overall, very cool to get to see JC Wings getting in on the action with this particular aircraft livery combo. And it looks really great. On to the next round. Here is a KLM Boeing 767-300ER, and this is going to be the world is just a click away special delivery. Papa Hotel Bravo Zulu Foxtrot. So presumably covering the internet when that was first coming out, but overall pretty good. Crazy to see that significant of engine up tilt. But hey, overall outside of that looking really good. And they're doing a good job there. Excuse me. Here's the Air New Zealand Boeing 737-300 registered Zulu Kilo November Golf Delta. Great looking plane too. Excuse me, overall, really love that tail livery, so that's really great to see. And definitely a really good effort right there. This is gonna be a really cool aircraft right here, a Kuwait government. Boeing 747-8 BBJ, and this can be nine kilo Golf Alpha Alpha. So again, very detailed up livery, and overall that looks really great. So certainly very glad to get to see that aircraft right there. That looks really great. Which will then take us to the Skygates Boeing 747-400 Freighter Interactive Series. This will be registered at Victor Papa Bravo Charlie Hotel. Never heard of this airline either, but it looks really cool. I really like that, those lines there that almost make like a comb shape on the tail or a paintbrush or some sort of, you know, lined out item. And you can see the gray too, which also looks really great on this aircraft. So a really great effort from JC Wings. It's a really cool one. So I certainly am a big fan of what they're doing right there. That's really cool. Our next aircraft is going to be this Aeroflot Boeing, or sorry, this is an Illusion IL-86, Romeo Alpha 86110. This aircraft looks really nice, so certainly glad to get to see the effort that they put into this airframe. And overall, I think they did a really good job on this one, so that looks really nice right there. And here's an ANA Cargo Boeing 777 Freighter, and it's going to be Blue Jay. This is Juliet Alpha 772 Foxtrot. Great looking aircraft right here. This one looks really nice, so definitely get to see. glad to see what they're exhibiting with this airframe right here. Very cool. Here's a Tiger Air Airbus A320 for Taiwan, Bravo 50018. Uh, if you remember the Tiger Air meme, definitely always fun to see this throwback here. I still would like to get one of these sometime just for that, but overall very cool with Tiger Air and what they're doing. So certainly a pretty interesting release right there. We'll also find a Scandinavian Airlines Boeing 737-800 Star Alliance livery. It looks pretty good. Lima November Romeo Romeo Echo. Not the prettiest mold in the world, but the livery does look very nice with the blue and orange. So that's certainly really cool to get to see. And overall, I did think they did a really good job on that one so very cool to get to see that right there and then i'm going to scroll down really quick and see what our next aircraft is and then let's see okay we still got some jc wing so we'll do uh this last jc wing and then we'll do the uh let's see that's going to be a yeah that, we have some different releases so i'll save that for the next release reaction which will be number 100 but the last jc wings we have is kind of a funny one it's going to be a british airways boeing 737 max 8 registered zulu sierra zulu charlie alpha and this is going to be the calm air one so certainly interesting to see them still releasing this even though this uh, did not end up happening which is quite sad but what can you do i made a whole video on the gym jets feature preview one if you're curious feel free to check it out it did end up getting removed by the way but overall pretty cool release right there and certainly cool to see them exhibiting that one so i really hope that you all enjoy the release reaction number 99 let me know what you think about the new format in the comment section below if anybody has any suggestions for a better format i thought about waffle collectibles but i thought it'd be a little bit more organized with these bigger pictures and can see it a little bit better compared to the waffle collectibles listings which aren't bad they're just a little bit smaller compared to this so that's why i decided to go with this one to start but if you have any ideas feel free to let me know but really excited for the future of release reactions can't believe we've been doing these for about two years now and they've certainly been awesome i've done about once a week you can tell by the numbers so about 100 here going into uh year number three so we're certainly on track with that so excited for another year of release reactions and many more so hope you all are excited for number 100 it's going to be a blast and i'm certainly looking forward to it but with all that being said everybody that'll do it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i want to thank each and every one of you for watching my name is director of aviation thank you to everybody stay safe just process do you love love you do my name is director of aviation i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as director of aviation is signing off